This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today we are going to revisit the Lying Bastard Sword and try to find out if it's the best weapon in the game. Let's get to it. In my most recent weapon spotlight, we took a look at the Lying Bastard Sword, and I said that I didn't really see anything too special about it. It's basically a one-handed sword that attacks like an axe, and it has good damage, really good damage actually at 64, but I didn't see anything like super special, being as like how the Lifeblood Spear gives you regen or anything like that. It was just an overall good sword. Wow, did you all talk a lot in the comments and have a lot to say about this sword. So, one of the main things that was pointed out was reach. A lot of you said that this sword has reach that is difficult for people to try to deal with. And a bunch of you said that the damage was really good, which I... Pretty sure I stated in the video that it did have really good damage, one of the highest in the game, but it doesn't give you any stab bonuses. However, if it did do any of that, it would apparently be OP because many of you stated, let's just throw some of those comments up on the screen right now, that this sword has high damage and was absolutely fantastic and had long reach and attack faster than other swords and all this other stuff. So we're going to test some of those things today. I want to see if you know, it does have longer reach because if you take a look at it here, if I just, well, nope, not that swing. Let's just do a light swing. If I do a light swing, you can see there. Now, if I swap to the ax and I do a light swing, it looks, it looks to be almost the same to me, which is one of the reasons I didn't point it out when I was doing the spotlight on the video. I mean, look, she, she moves forward a little bit and then the trail that it leaves behind seems to be almost the exact same as just a normal ax. So, I didn't see anything, you know, there. I didn't think that it would be different. It is, by the way, uh, not by a lot, but it is. So we're going to take a look at range starting off, and then we're going to take a look at speed, because a lot of you said that this thing, its combo is quicker and doesn't stop like a two-hander, and you can continue going. But however, if you saw there, you pause for a minute. But I want to take a look. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison and just see and test a bunch of this stuff. So let's start with range. So right here at this range, and this is a relatively accurate setup I got going here. As you can see, these are spaced apart using my eye, and uh, I got them pretty much identical for all of them. And then I have this dude walled in so he can't move, but I can still hit him. So if we take a look here, I can't reach him with this. I can't reach him with that. I can't reach him with this. So nothing, not even the spear. So if we take a look here at the spear and you can't even reach him with the spear. Th this range, you're just out of spears reach. So if we go into this and we make it not solid anymore and we move forward now, we're at the maximum reach of a spear. So right here is the spear's range is, is absolutely ridiculous. A lot of you talk about the bastard sword being OP, but the... The range, okay, this is if, this is the range if I can't move forward. That's insane. That's the distance of the entire spear plus the dis almost the distance of the spear again. That's not counting the fact that, okay, let's get to the right to the edge here. Now let's just move away so that I can dash forward because you do. Look at where you end up. Insane. Spears are got insane reach. It might as well be a ranged weapon almost. I mean, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to stop ranting about that. So this is the, the distance of, this, of a spear if you can't dash forward. Now, if we go over to the hammer, uh, this is the hammer. So you can see we can't reach with the hammer. Can't reach with the, the long sword or the two-handed sword either. And of course, none of the other ones reach, but let's test the lying bastard. And no, that doesn't it doesn't reach. Okay, so let's uh, knock this next wallpaper down and we're gonna move forward. So we know we've hit the, the maximum reach of the spear. We've moved forward a little bit more. I did get the right one, right? Let's double check there. Okay, so we move forward just a little bit more and we'll try this. Nope, can't reach there. And if we try this, what is interesting is I found that this uh, a two-hander almost it's not this one, it's the next one. So if we take this one down, it's almost the distance of a spear. So if we move forward now. I think this is where I was hitting him. It takes a, it's not perfect every time, but I think I, it was this one here is where I was able to like clip just the tip. 
I think this is it. Might have been one more forward. It's still really long range. That that move right there is extremely long. Okay, so still here we cannot we can't reach none of our attacks hit here. So let's knock down our next wall. We move forward just a little bit more. So we're gonna go back to the two-hander. And I swear this is the one that was able to hit him. Maybe not. Maybe it was a little further than I remember when I was doing my preliminary test. It was janky too. It didn't hit every time. And also I noticed that sometimes when you move to the side, you end up, cause she like moves forward a little bit. It's janky cause we're in a wall. But once again, none of these, none of these reach. So we're gonna move forward. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna just move forward. Let's move forward one more. I'm positive this one, this one does it. So let's see here. There we go. There we go. So at this range here, you can clip just the tip of the sword and hit the opponent. That's pretty decent, decent range for a two, the two-handed sword. None of the other attacks will clip though. If you look, if I do a full combo, none of those. It's just that very first uh, lunge there and it's not every time. And if I continue my heavy attacks, you can see none of them actually hit it. It's just that one, and it seems to almost be glitchy. But anyway, so now let's go to, let's test this sword, because this sword has a little bit of reach to it too. You lunge forward pretty far. So no, we're not hitting him with the normal short sword. Try the lying bastard. Still no. So at this point, you can sometimes hit with a two-hander. All the way back here, you can, right here, you can hit with a spear. Okay, so we're gonna move forward again. All right, so at this range, we should definitely be able to hit. Okay, there we go, we hit with the two-hander, and I think that it's just the first one. Yeah, so just that, well, oh, we caught there just the tip of that that one uh, combo there, so you're gonna get a little bit of uh, hits there with that. Let's test the Lying Bastard. Lying Bastard still can't hit. And let's try the heavy attacks on it. Nope, still no heavy attacks. Let's try the two or the one-handed sword. Nope, it still does not make the reach. Let's try the hammer. The hammer is actually shorter than you would expect. Let's try the hammer. Hammer still doesn't hit. No, nothing. Mace, mace isn't gonna hit. If the axe, I'm pretty sure the mace has the same range as an axe. And of course, if that doesn't hit, the axe isn't going to hit either. Okay, let's move our next wall. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's see if we can hit with the axe. We cannot hit with the axe from this range. Okay, so if we switch to the Lying Bastard, we can hit with the Lying Bastard. So there we go. So everybody who said that it outranges an axe, yes, you are 100% correct. Nobody can deny you. Uh, if they do, send them to this video because it does. If we look here, you can hit him with the entire combo actually. And none of the combo of the axe, however, manages to hit, even though it looks like it would. It because of the trails and stuff, it, it does not. Let's take a look at the one-handed sword. One-handed sword still does the, oh, there we go. One-handed sword does connect. We're sliding a little bit here, so let's see if we can, I think the slide is part of the problem, but a one-handed sword, so it's the same range as the first lunge with the one-handed sword. So let's continue to see if we can, yeah, okay, it is hitting. Yeah, there we go. We hit with a bunch of them, a bunch of those attacks. So there you go. So all those people out there who didn't know how to position yourselves, uh, you're going to position yourselves the same way you would position yourself if you're going up against someone with a one-handed sword. It's, it's pretty much the same range. Different combo, but same range. All right, let's check the hammer real quick. I wanna see if it's got the same range here. All right, so that didn't hit. That didn't hit. No. So the hammer seems to be shorter, seems to be almost on par with the axe. If we knock down our next wall here and we move forward, the axe should connect now. Now the axe connects, which means the hammer connects. Maybe. There we go. Yep. And which also means that the, the mace is going to connect as well. Oh, maybe not. Mace is much shorter. I thought the mace was the same distance as an axe. No. Okay, so you're... Oh, that attack did. Okay, so it's almost... Some of the attacks seem to be the same range. The others, not so much. Let's do a full light combo. We're also sliding, which makes a difference here too. And I'm trying my best to keep aim on the opponent. But um, yeah, so it looks like only some of the mace's attacks 
meet the same range as the I didn't hit with any, okay, there we go, the final one did on that one. Meet the same range as the other stuff here. Uh, the mace seems to be much shorter for the other attacks. It's probably going to be remove this wall here and then move forward. Yeah, there we go. So now the mace is connecting every time. So one more little like space there to be able to connect with the mace. So your mace, I mean, and I'm not showing daggers because obviously daggers are the shortest. They do have a gap closer, but they're still, I mean, they're basically, you're hugging the person. However, it uh, looks like as far as like not counting daggers, the other weapons, as far as those go, your mace is the shortest. Now, one other thing I thought was really interesting is a lot of you mentioned that the jump could close the gap of a spear. Now, the jump's pretty good. Let's, uh, if we go here and we're just gonna line ourselves up, I'm going to make this solid again. We will line ourselves up here and we'll just move over and we'll do the jump. I mean, that gets us the full distance here, the full distance, which we know that if we're standing here, that the spear cannot reach. So if we swap to the spear here, spear does not reach at this distance. However, if you make that jump, you can. So basically though, you have to time it so they attack or get them before they attack, but yeah, you can close that gap. Now, it's the same with an ax, however, but you gotta remember you get that little bit of additional range there. If you see there, we still jump just as far, but you're gonna get that little bit of additional range that you would get with the uh, one-handed sword when they do the lunge. So yeah, I mean, you're gonna, you're going to definitely um, catch them, but I mean, you're still basically fighting someone who has a ton more reach than you do, and you're not gonna be just like, I mean, maybe constantly be jumping. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if you've used this sword to fight someone with a spear down in the comments. Let me know how uh, that played out. You know, what combos, go into detail about it. Did you jump like this? Uh, did you have to do that a lot in order to bridge the gap? I mean, this doesn't move you forward too much. That last one gives you a bit of a dash, but if they're just playing the, the pokey pokey game, we're gonna just do that, you know, just give a little pokey pokey there. I feel like it would be really hard to to deal with that. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if you've dealt with somebody. As far as like any other weapon that you're gonna go up against, you're gonna probably have the upper hand because you're gonna be doing more damage than most other one-handed swords unless they have the predatory blade. But with the one-handed combo, uh, it's a lot of dashes and it's a lot easier to sidestep where you're going to catch them with these spins. That was another thing that you all pointed out in the comments is because of the spins and the constant uh, 360s that you're doing there, you're covering all around you. So it's easy to, to jump beside somebody, continue to do your combo and be clipping them uh, with the tip of the sword or with the side of the sword or what have you as to where you're not going to get that effect with other things because if you look, if we're using the one-hander, while the predatory blade has insane damage, you only have that one swipe there, that that one, and then you do that. And it's a lot harder to, to hit your opponent in that situation with the heavy attacks. You got, well, one spin, but it's not the same kind of spin that you have here. Now, the other thing that a lot of people were pointing out was the speed. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison here. I'm just gonna do the light combo with this sword, and then I'm going to do a light combo with the two-hander. And we're gonna take a look at the speed here. So I won't be able to put these side by side till I'm editing the video, but just from preliminary testing here, from watching it, it appears to be marginally faster than the two-hander. A lot of you also mentioned in the comments that the sword also provides hyper armor to keep you from being staggered mid attack and that the two handers and other stuff do not provide that hyper armor effect. However, hyper armor is coming to pretty much every weapon in the game. So that's not something that, I mean, right now it's a valid point, but soon every weapon will have hyper armor and it won't be currently in the test live version of the game. A lot of the weapons that didn't have hyper armor now have hyper armor. So it's a really good sword. I'm not gonna say that it's not a good sword. I'm not going to say that it's the best either. The last time I called a weapon the best weapon in the game, it lit a fire under a lot of people. 
So I'm not going to do that. What I want to know is I want to know what you think about it in the comments. Uh, a lot of you already let me know what you thought in the last video, but do you think that it's the best weapon in the game? It's OP, I would, I'll say that, but I also feel like there's a lot of other OP weapons like the Lifeblood Spear. I feel like this weapon is generally OP. It, it does 53 damage while this does, uh, what, 11 more damage. This also gives you a regen buff that you can constantly refresh and is difficult to deal with. Now this applies a bleed. Yes, that's true, but bleeds are easy enough to clear up if you have the potions on you. Now, one thing I want to point out, and a lot of people were like trying to discuss this in the comments of the, the last video. I saw a couple people saying it. No, I don't play PvP. So let's just get that out there right now. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I PvP. That's why a lot of things that I say, well, pretty much everything that I say that alludes to PvP is hypothetical and I state it in a hypothetical manner. I don't, I'm not going to play PvP on this game. The game's way too buggy, way too broken. It's not designed for PvP. They don't optimize PvP. There's so much cheating and stuff going on that I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm more of your guides, general knowledge, testing stuff, game mechanics. If you want to understand game mechanics, then I'm your guy. We're going to talk about that here. So let's just get that out in the open. But yeah, I'm not going to say it's the best sword. It's definitely a good sword. I'll put it up there in, in the top five weapons currently in the game right now. Uh, just due to damage, due to the fact that it does have that additional reach. I feel like a lot of it comes down to the weapon that you feel most comfortable with. A lot of you are swearing by this right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure that down in the comments section, a lot of you are going to continue to swear by the spear. Many of you may continue to swear by an ax and a shield. It's honestly, it comes down to preference, but this sword is definitely in the top five, top 10, along with the lifeblood spear and a few others that we're going to talk about later on once they get put into the final version of the game with their stats. They're currently in PTR. They're completely OP, uh, but we're going to have to wait and see if those get nerfed or not. But yeah. All right. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know if you like this style of video, this kind of like thought experiment type situation. And uh, yeah. All right. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider in that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.